Hey guys, uh, Keith here. Sorry it's been such a long time. Sorry it's been such a long time between this video and the last one. I, I did get sick for a little bit and I uh, didn't really feel like making videos. Um, over on Candle Power Forums, ever since uh, the, the site has recovered from the crash, um, I've been involved in an interesting topic about a headlight for your dog. Now, this is my Tika XP that I modded with the XML bulb, and you can see that in a previous video. And uh, one thing that I thought would be a good idea would be to take just a standard headlamp and mount it on the chest strap to a dog harness. And that would give you your headlamp for a dog. You know, anyone with a dog knows they don't like having extra junk on their head or you know, maybe you don't want it hanging off their neck because it can spin around their neck. So this is my my little pack for my dog. Um, whenever we go out, it's got a, a food bowl and a water bowl. I can fit a couple bottles of water in one side and some food and treats in the other. And uh, then we don't have to worry about, about taking care of her. She's all set. And the way this works, it's, sorry, it's a little cramped here. We have, this is the inside, and this is the front, and this is the back. So, this part drapes over the dog, and then these snaps, and then, and then these straps would go behind the front leg, in front of the back leg. And here, this part, the you know, head would be sticking out of here, and these pieces come around in front of her shoulders, and her legs stick out here. And this will look a lot a lot neater when I put her on the video, but to do all this fiddly work, she doesn't like being in the harness without having a purpose. So, anywho, um, we're going to mount this headlamp to this front strap. So, we're going to take the clip off of the, the strap, and it's important to kind of remember that the, the light is going to go between the clip and the connection point. That'll save us a little bit of a headache down the road. Okay, so in order to get the, the clip off of the strap, we need to trim where it's it's the seam is, or the hem, so it'll pull, pull through the clip. And that's fine, I have probably 10 inches of extra strap here that I don't need. So we'll trim that and then just seal the, the cut edge because it is nylon and it will fray. But everyone knows the lighter and now it's sealed. So the clip comes off. Now this headlamp has a uh, really interesting strap because it's easily removable. We'll zoom in here and show you how that's done. Okay, on the back side of the strap you'll see how it has these two little tabs and all you have to do, a little pressure and that pops that end out and then you just feed the, the tab through the middle and there we go. So the strap's undone at this point, we just have to feed it through the connection point on the light. And this is a little fiddly just because it's a tight fit. There we go. And off to the second side. There we go. One strapless headlight. I'm going to set this aside, put it in my parts box. And then it's just a simple matter of threading the harness strap. Into the 
the attachment for the headlamp. Now, I kind of just assumed that this would be the same size, and it looks like it pretty much is. Just having a little bit of trouble getting it in there. I'm going to use my little tool here. There we go. Now, I did kind of do a dry run. I held this up to the dog when she was wearing the harness, and I think I like it in this orientation best. I can angle it down, which is really where I would want her to have the most illumination. Um, you could always mount it the other way so that you could maneuver it up if that was a, a factor. I guess it depends mostly on how your dog wears the harness. Okay, there we go. And then back through the clip. Starting to fray this a little bit. Give it another run through with the lighter. Make sure everything is good and good and sealed. So there we go. That's just about it. Couldn't be really any simpler. Um, I'll trim this remainder of the strap once I get it put on the dog, and that'll be how it is. Um, light works just fine and this one of course does have a spot or flood feature so let me go get the dog and readjust the camera and we'll see if uh, she'll tolerate being on film for a little bit